Uh, I thought what was quite interesting, David, is when you first went to the GP, you were given pills. Do you think that there is a tendency to just medicate rather than to look behind the reasons for why somebody is feeling as they are? I, I think, certainly, in speaking to Mark, who's um, head of the uh, 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 Mental Health Foundation, who actually sponsored and created um, a Mental Health Awareness Week brilliantly, um, it's been really interesting talking to him because, um, in a way that we're still trying to uncover the, um, the mysteries behind mental health. And to... I, I think there is prob probably a fair degree of over-medication. Mm -hmm. And I still think there's still a lot of confusion as to how we go about treating and diagnosing um, uh, mental, um, uh, mental health. And I would have to say, even though this happened to me 30 years ago, I still, to this day, <laughs> don't exactly know how it happened. Mm. Or why it happened. Well, do you, I mean, mental health is a taboo subject in most communities. Mm -hmm. I mean, I come from the Asian community and I now see young Asian kids really suffering. And a lot of that suffering comes because they don't know who to talk to mm. and they don't know how to identify with some of the subjects. So racism was quite a big part of that kind of community. Would you say that was, that's what happened to you? Was, it, was racism a trigger in your world that kind of led you to that? sort of downward spiral? Well, I think uh, one, of the, one of the big factors about um, uh, a, a mental health when it comes to um, minorities, um, one of the biggest factors is poverty and certainly um, uh, prejudice and, ra and, and racism, having to deal with the outside world and finding your place within it. I think there's a report in the paper today that something like there's a massive increase in the number of children um, being referred yeah. uh, to um, uh, mental health authorities. And that's really worrying. And we do live in a kind of... We live in a very confusing and crazy world with social media and things like that. And, 